On my last video, I showed you how to I menu plan for my family. Today, I'm going to give you some reasons why I menu plan and a few tips. The first reason why I menu plan is because it saves money. If I know what we're going to eat and I have it already in my home, then I don't have to run to the grocery store because every time I run to the grocery store to just pick up a couple of things, I always pick up a lot more than I planned. So, it saves money. The second reason, it keeps my family from asking, what are we eating? Because every time that my son wakes up, what are we eating? What are we eating? If he looks at me, what are we eating? So, I can just say, look at the menu. The third reason is, it helps me stay more organized. I know what I have. I know what's in the pantry. I know what's in the freezer. I know what's in the refrigerator. And that way, it goes into the fourth one, it makes shopping easier. I know what I need to go buy. If I'm gonna run out of something soon, I know it's on my list, and I know that I can just go pick that up whenever I do my big shopping. So it makes shopping easier. You also eat a lot healthier if you menu plan, because that way, you know what you're going to eat, and then you don't just say, well, we need to just eat something quick and we need to just eat this processed stuff. So we have cut out a lot of processed food. We still have some in our home, but not nearly as much. And another thing, the last thing, the sixth reason that came to mind today is I can prepare foods ahead. I can go ahead and soak the peas because we use a lot of dry peas and beans. I can go ahead and bake bread ahead of time because if we're having something that we want to have rolls with that night, then I can go ahead and get that ready because I've gotten into baking a lot of our breads. Um, I can chop the vegetables ahead of time and put them in the freezer. Or I can also say um, on a Monday, I'm going to cook something that I need onions and carrots and things like that. Well, I know on Wednesday, I'm going to need the same thing. So I can just go ahead and cut up enough for two days, two meals, and put half of it in the refrigerator, or however much I need, in the refrigerator, and it'll be ready for me on the next time I need it. Um, I can also thaw my meat. Or if I decide to do a freezer meal, because I do make freezer meals sometimes, I, can, I know I need to take that out, put it in the refrigerator the night before, that we're going to eat it for dinner the next day. So those are just a few reasons that I mean you plan. Some tips that I have. First tip. When you make this menu, do not feel obligated to eat what's on there. You can swap things up. This is yours. This is not something that belongs to anyone else. This is not something that is a law. This is yours. You created it. And if you say, you don't want pork chops tonight, but that's what you're supposed to have. You haven't taken them out. That's okay. You can circle pork chops, and then you can go over here and do something in a different week. The biggest thing about that is, though, you don't want to mix it up to where that you have something where you're eating the same protein two or three times in a row. Unless you're eating like hamburger meat and beef tips, you know, that's okay. But you don't want to eat pork two nights in a row or chicken most of the time two nights in a row. But you can do however you want. We have actually drawn arrows from one night to the other because we didn't want something, so we just drew an arrow from one night to the other. Okay, the next tip is you make a list of foods that your family eats. Now this is a list that we created probably four, almost five years ago. And because it was four or five years ago, we revised it, or we're going to revise it. We're in the process. I've written down a lot of new things that I have learned how to make because I didn't know about how to make those meals or we were eating more processed and I've learned how to make it from scratch so now we have it um, written down and I'm going to like this one type it up 
the way I did it, and you can't see this very well because I'm too far away, but there's categories of like ground beef, beef, boxed or quick meals, which we don't have anymore because we don't do the boxed and quick meals like the tuna helper and the lasagna and all that stuff. Now, if we have lasagna, I make it. I may make enough and put an extra one in the freezer, but it's all homemade. We don't eat many hot dogs. We do eat pizza, but now it's not the frozen kind. Now, I make the dough and we start from scratch. So, this won't even be on the next one I type up. It won't say boxed or quick meals. It'll say quick meals because there are a lot of meals I can cook that are quick, like spaghetti or different things like that, but they are not boxed. And then, like side dishes, like, you know, green beans, black eyed peas, you know, different things like that. Different vegetables and stuff. Then we have the poultry and pork. I've gotten a lot more meals that I have learned since this. And then different breads that we can make. Um, and I've actually added a lot to those because I've learned how to make Hawaiian rolls and all kind of yumminess. And then on the back side, we have breakfast meals, different fruits that my family eats, and we have actually added to that because we've learned to try new things. And then different desserts that I can make that most of them are from scratch, and they were then too. So that's another good tip is you make a list of food that your family enjoys. That way you can go from that list and make your menu. The next thing is don't be afraid to try new recipes and add them to your list. I have learned in the last three months how to make three different types of bread. Two of them was because of different YouTubers that I love. But the other one, it was actually something I wanted to do. So I just looked it up online. Another tip is you can plan every meal breakfast, lunch, or and dinner, or you can just do dinner, or just do whatever works for you. We only plan one meal, and because my husband swaps shifts from work, this may not be dinner. This may be lunch, but it's the one meal that my kids and my husband and I can all sit at this table, and we can eat together. And another thing you can do Online, there are tons of different free printables that you can do. This one, I I got it like four years ago, maybe five. And it's from godlyglimpses.com. I'll put it um, in the description box where I got this from. At the time, it was a free printable. And it's really cute. My daughter drew a smiley face, so I never erase it. This one I got from organizedhome.com, which you can't see it really well. Maybe, or, well, it's... You can look on there and you can find different ones. I'll put a few different links in the description box so that you can see what is out there that I have found. There's a lot. Um, the main thing is don't feel like you have to go by the menu exactly, but make a menu plan. Don't feel like you have to do four weeks, which this is four weeks, but it's kind of it's a little bit over four weeks. Don't feel like you have to do four weeks. When I first started, I only did every two weeks. And then I got to where that now we shop at Sam's and Costco and things like that. So I buy the meat in bulk. So I just go get the meat because we found that we like that meat better. And then I come home and I figure out, okay, we can make this, 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 and this out of this pork loin. And the pork loin is like this. It's huge. And then the packs of hamburger... Is it's really large so I can say okay I can make this this and this and that's how I make my menu that and we sit down and we say you know what do you want this time this is what we have this is the type of protein we have you know so what do, what do you want to eat or what are we going to do this night and my family we do it together I have done it alone this one I actually did alone because I was videoing um but you can do it. I have also, I want to sit down and write down my process 
and then I want to do a video on it. I don't know if I will for sure because I don't know if people are really going to be watching this. I know a couple of people who are. And that's really all I have for today. I thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you'd like it. And let me know in the comments if you want anything else like this. Thank you.